Dr. Robertson. You're, he is in a class that are all in Springfield, Massachusetts. You're talking about the greatest to have ever played the game. No, he definitely is. And, you know, I, I, and I'm going to be a hater. The game has changed so much. All these stats are going to be broken. All these records are going to be broken. So Russell Westbrook, Rick, you know, Oscar Robinson's triple, th triple, double average and all those things, but they're, they're going to be broken, but he's a phenomenal talent. The one thing that all of those other players have, they won championships. So where where is that going to come from? His team's construction is not all on him. He's doing his job. But I love to see where his career is going to go from a winning standpoint. It's an excellent point. Here's Gary with the floater. Doesn't go Doncic with a rebound. Doncic, guarded by Coloco. Good job. Triple team. They'll kick it. Dinwiddie chased off the line, drive, kick. And here's Doncic in the paint, and the and one. Part of the reason why he is number one in the NBA in scoring is because he's getting to the free throw line. Getting to the free throw line, finishing in contact, with contact, using his size. The three-point shot, you said, right? Under 30%, and you charge out to him to take away that three just because he poses that threat no matter what his stats are. But I love the fact and how he's getting off the ball and letting his teammate make plays, right? He's getting out of the double team. That time he was triple team and skip pass, and these rotations are almost impossible to recover because the runs are so long. OG and Anobi will bring it across the timeline. Raptors down by 14. In a hole and trying to dig out. One for eight from the field. You mentioned they have struggled shooting without Pascal Siakam. And the continuity of the five starters. There's OG Ananobi. They need that relief. There is no question about it. They're going to need that. And the Raptors are going to have to do a better job of moving without the basketball. Dallas Mavericks are loading up and showing bodies. Corner three is good, and so not getting out on the shooter as Finney Smith connects 53%. And another turnover by Toronto. That's going to be their sixth as they trail by 14. Dinwiddie. I don't think Dwight Powell thinks he's too much in the offense. He's tied his shoe, Jordan. I guess he's not. I'm not going to get the ball anyway, so well, might as well take at, a break uh, in time. No, he's shoot. right there. He's right there. He was going in for the offense seat. Right there, he's there. Uh, he's there, but I mean, I'm, I was the type of player, I'm gonna tie it on defense. Oh, really? <laughs> tie it on defense. I gotta run down on offense. The logo picks up his second, and Doncic to the line. Doncic is second in the NBA in free throw attempts per game, 11.3. And Brent Barnicky blows the whistle. And oh gee, they, they must have thought it was a yeah, hand one. Yeah, them. they <laughs> did. They did. Look at their laughing. Gotcha. And you see Giannis, Joel Embiid at 12.2, and then Luca. And three is Doncic gets the second. Mavericks team, they're playing much better. The Boston Celtics game was something I know they want to throw away. They weren't making threes. They were holding the ball a little longer than it needed to be, and they couldn't get a stop at all. It's a whole different Maverick team. You see Luka with a nice block. Here's Van Vliet fading. Shot no. Boucher staying active, and that's where he excels. Just staying at it, right? Just staying with it, going up there. The second jump, a fast, quick jump to get right back up there for his putback. Little Rock, closed out by Trent Jr. Raptors down 22 to 9. Clock at 5. Good job by OG Ananobi. Boucher with the steal. Boucher attacking. An 11 point game. And I love seeing Chris Boucher getting out on a break. I love when he's running without the ball. That time he handled the ball nicely, finished over Spencer Dinwiddie. I like what the Raptors did. They were double, they were single matchup with Luka not allowing him passing lanes. That's how Chris got the steal. Shot rims out, poked away, and it's Van Vliet. 
Gucci. Go right at him. Yep. Woody's doing with a left. And it doesn't go. 